is so much uh, like a sketch to me. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, hello everyone, thank you for coming uh, to Studio 8H, home to Saturday Night Live. Uh, New York City is a terrific place to make television every week. We've seen in the last 10 years more and more shows and movies filming here. This past year, more than 180 films were shot in New York City. This past year, a record 23 primetime TV shows were shot in New York. And last year, the TV shows shot in New York City earned 110 Emmy nominations. And as the mayor says, that's the kind of high quality entertainment you can make when you're not loaded down with trans fats. <laughs> that's about as good as my jokes go on Saturday as well. <laughs> that does not happen by itself. It takes the kind of crew that we have here at SNL. It takes a dynamic city like New York and it takes a whole lot of behind the scenes work getting people to come here. Done by the man I'm introducing. New York City is the premier city for television in the world. We're lucky to have a mayor who stands behind that and sees the value of TV for New Yorkers in the industry, for tourists and for everyone else. SNL was proud to receive a Made in the New York award last year and we're so glad to have the mayor with us today. He's gonna come from out there and uh, just so you know, we told him that counts as hosting the show. So afterwards, please, please tell him he did great. Uh, without further ado, Mayor Mike Bloomberg. For the record, I thought your trans fat joke was great. Thank you. Now, I may be the only one here that thought that, but let me tell you, it doesn't matter. At least you have an audience of one, which is more than a lot of shows have. And I suspect you have a very big audience after 37 years, is that right? If you can't get it right after 37 years, you are never going to. But I think you have gotten it right, and thank you so much. Uh, and I just wanted to particularly thank you and uh, Lauren Michaels and set it live for hosting us, and particularly the people up there who are getting a tour. Hello, everyone. There you go, they're waving. Uh, in 2010, uh, as Seth said, we gave, an SN we gave SNL a Made in New York award for their contributions to our city's television industry. And two years later, they still haven't really asked me to host. This does not count. I don't care what you say. Just think. It could be an all New York edition. Me with musical guest, The Naked Cowboy. <laughs> Instead, you pick Eli Manning. What did I miss here? I don't know. Anyways, we decided to honor SNL two years ago because this show is an important part of what makes New York City the media and entertainment capital of the world. And we've always said that. Some people don't believe it, but it is true. And I'm going to tell you why it's true. These are certainly heady times for this industry. The energy, excitement, and optimism, it's everywhere. And if you look around New York, you can see it on the sets of TV favorites like Gossip Girl and Boardwalk Empire. Uh, I've seen it in the workspaces of cutting edge startups like Foursquare and Tumblr. I've seen it in the offices of public publishing titans like Pearson, which is expanding its presence in our city. But you don't have to just take my word for it. A new independent report by the Boston Consulting Group, which we are releasing today, confirms exactly what we've been saying for a long time. In fact, the report, which analyzed our entire media landscape, film and television production, advertising, publishing, and digital media, found even greater growth than we had expected. And with this flood of new business has come tens of thousands of new jobs that have put New Yorkers to work during these tough economic times. Without a doubt, our booming media and entertainment industry is one of the main reasons why we have weathered the national recession better than most of the rest of the country. And I think it proves once again that our investments to diversify our city's economic base is the smartest and most effective long-term growth strategy for New York. In its report,